Welcome to Yoga TX. My name is Savannah and it's really important to me that I share with you guys a practice for anxiety. It's going to be a practice involving movement, breath, and meditation at the end. And what I've found with meditation and anxiety is it's really not a smart idea for you to just like sit down and close your eyes and go right into it because if you're actively having anxiety, that's like the worst feeling you could possibly do. It's just to dive into the craziness of your thoughts and sometimes it's just not the best thing. So we're gonna try um, a different way to deal with anxiety. And before I get started, I wanted to let you guys know that choosing a yoga practice when you have anxiety is really important um, because yoga can actually exacerbate anxiety as it can release you from anxiety. So if we're at a level of like really high movement in our mind and really um, scattered energy throughout our body, we might want a yoga practice that's really quick, really flowy, and really um, all over the place because that's meeting us where we are. But the truth is if we wanna shift our state, we have to do the opposite of what we're feeling. But I'm gonna meet you where you're at, so I'm not gonna lay you down on the ground and say, do this, close the eyes, and just meditate. No, I'll meet you where you're at, we'll start standing, and then we'll slowly taper the energy down as we start to move towards um, our meditation practice. So go ahead and find a comfortable position. We'll be in the middle of our mat, and bring your fingers towards your low belly and your thumbs at your navel. So this gives us a chance to connect with our breath before we do anything else. And I encourage you to keep your eyes open for this portion. We'll take our gaze down towards the ground. And we'll start with a full exhale. So from the tips of your fingers, can you feel the belly draw in? And then the next time you breathe in, can the belly stay relaxed as you're breathing in? Exhaling from the tips of your fingers and feeling the fingers draw back as the belly draws back. And re-relaxing the abdomen as you breathe in. And one more full exhale here. And then we'll add some arm lifting with our inhale. So for the first inhale, just let your arms come down towards the ground, spread the fingertips. And as you exhale, drawing in from the low belly, we'll just draw the hands back towards the abdomen. So mimicking the movement of the breath. As you breathe in, maybe the arms lift a little higher. Exhaling from the low belly and just drawing the hands back there. Now you can lift the arms up as low or as high as you'd like. But with anxiety, we really wanna make sure that the exhale is complete and that the inhale doesn't feel really high up by our chest. So sometimes that means only lifting the arms to about a T position. That's usually where the chest feels most open. And then a full exhale. So I'll take two more rounds of that. You might even notice, can you start your inhale before the movement? And can you start the exhale before you start drawing the hands back towards the belly? So really breath-centric. One more round. And exhaling here. And we'll keep the hands on the low belly. This time as you breathe in, we'll go ahead and lift the heels up. And as you exhale, bring the heels down. We might be a little wobbly, that's okay. And we'll sink the weight back in towards the heels, draw in from the low belly, and come up towards a high chair position. So I'll take a couple rounds of that. Inhaling, heels lift up. And then as the exhale happens, you're dropping the heels, drawing the low belly in, and come back and coming back towards a high chair. So we'll do that two more rounds. And it's not about how deep your chair can be or how good your body looks while you're doing this. Anxiety is really about the energy in your body, so it's an energetic practice. And then we'll go ahead and pause in that chair position with our heels down. If you're moving the weight towards your heels, you might notice um, you can feel like the big toes are wanting to pop off of the mat. Go ahead and press down through the big toes. 
And find a position where you can breathe in for just three rounds of breath. We'll open the arms up as we breathe in. And bring the hands down towards our knees or shins as you exhale. So knees stay bent the whole time as you breathe in. Arms come out to about a T, the center of the chest lifts up. As you exhale, options are bring the hands towards the knees or slide them down through the shins. Breathing in, the inhale slowly develops over time. You'll start to feel some work in the thighs and as you exhale, draw the low belly in and let the exhale last long so there's no rush on the breath. One more inhale. And on this exhale, we're gonna go all the way down towards a fold. Now, if a fold isn't comfortable for you, you can rest with your elbows on your knees and hang out here. Otherwise, you can slide the hands down towards the shins or maybe you grab opposite hands to opposite elbows. We'll just take about three rounds of breath here and when you're here, focus on feeling the ground beneath your feet. Can you spread the toes out? And still sinking the weight back towards the heels so the glutes and the hamstrings are involved. Full exhale, and we're gonna lift on our next inhalation. We'll keep the knees bent, open the arms out wide, and press up through the back of the head as you lift. So instead of rounding, really press up through the back of the head. Press the back of the hands back, flip your dreads behind you if you have them, and let the center of the chest lift up. As you exhale, bring the palms back together. We'll close the eyes and plug the thumbs into our chest. So this is an opportunity for you just to check in with yourself. Check in with your breath. And notice where the breath is living in the body. Do you relax the belly as you breathe in? Let the ribs expand and on the exhalation, gently drawing the low belly up. We'll go ahead and relax the hands down by the sides and come into some warrior poses. So when we're dealing with anxiety, we want the focus to be on our lower part of our body. It makes sense, grounding, right? We don't wanna to get too airy if we are feeling anxious. So we'll come into a warrior pose with the right foot at the top of the mat to start. And I want you to pretend like you are on train track. So you'll take that right foot over towards the right track and take the left foot over towards the left track. We're gonna keep the hands on the hips since this is a grounding practice, instead of raising them over the head and stressing out the upper chest, keep them on your hips. And you can let that serve as a reminder about where the breath should be going. It should be dropping down towards the belly. And on your next inhale, we'll start to bend into the front knee as you breathe in. And gently draw the belly back as you re-straighten the front leg. You might keep your gaze on one point so you can focus on the movement and the breath combined. Exhaling back. And here's where you might take it a step forward. Can you start the inhale before the movement starts? Can you start the exhale before you begin moving back? Lengthening out that breath for two more rounds. Inhale as you bend into the front knee. Exhale, gently hugging in from the low belly as you straighten the front leg. And we'll take that one more round. And then we'll step that back foot back towards the... No, we're gonna step that front foot back towards the back foot. So that might feel a little awkward, but the reason why we do that in um, yoga practices for anxiety, we really wanna start and end from the same position, so there is a place of grounding in our practice. Starting from the back of your mat, you'll step the left foot forward, and again, you can bring the feet back out east to west if you feel a little narrow. That'll open up the foundation of your base and actually provide you with more balance as we move to. So hands around hips, 
Lift up through the center of the chest. And as you breathe in, the belly is relaxed as the front knee bends. Start the exhale here. And as the exhale continues, straighten the front leg. And we'll take four to five more rounds with your breath. I want you to go at your own pace though. Coming back to the breath whenever you need to. And we'll take one more round. And then again, we'll take that front foot and step it back. It can be a couple steps back or it can be a big hop back. We're going to come onto our hands and knees now. And as you bring your hands down towards the floor, if you have wrist issues, know that you can always roll the front of your mat up and create a little slant from the heels of your hands down towards the fingertips. And as you're breathing in, tops of the feet will be on the ground. We'll just take a small cow. So let the belly drop enough so that the belly feels relaxed when you breathe in. As you exhale, hugging up from the inner belly, and we'll take the hips all the way back towards the heels. Relax the head, the shoulders, the elbows. Start the breath in first and let that inhale lead you back up, shoulders over wrists. Maybe you drop the belly. Exhale, round the back, hug up from the inner belly and bring the hips back towards the heels over time so that exhale can stay long. giving yourself permission to move at your own pace of breath. You don't have to worry too much about what the inhale is doing. Just give all of your energy and intention to your exhale. That's really the side of the breath that'll cure any feelings of overt tension in the body. The longer the exhale gets, and the softer the next inhale will feel as it comes in. Now slowly move all the way back towards our backs on the mat. And you can swing the feet around in front of you. And let's go ahead and leave our knees bent as we lie on the back so the low back has some space to feel long. As you come down to the back, you can let the arms spread out. Give yourself some space for the ribs to expand if they want to as you breathe in. We'll close the eyes here and just bring attention to the parts of your body that are making contact with the floor. So that might be your toes, the balls of your feet, your heels, bringing attention to the back of your hips and the back of your hands, the back of your arms, and the back of your shoulders. And as you start to recognize the support underneath your body, see if you can allow yourself to sink into that support. Know that the earth is there to hold you. And sometimes the best thing we can do for feelings of anxiousness is to literally get on the ground. Remind yourself that you're safe. And in this moment, in this breath, you're okay.
And you can start to walk the feet out a little bit wider than the hips. They might even come all the way to the edges of the mat. And if the arms aren't already wider than the hips, you can bring them out a little wider so your hips have room to move. We'll take our gaze straight up towards the ceiling and just let the inhale come in naturally. As you start to exhale, we'll let the knees windshield wipe over to one side. And you can think about the knees deflating over to one side as the breath pulls out of the body. Then as you start breathing in again, let the belly fill up, the ribs fill up, and the knees will turn back up. The exhale begins, and the knees twist to the opposite side. And at your own pace of breath, each time you breathe in, wait a second or two, and then continue breathing in as the knees lift up. And each time you breathe out, wait a second or two, and then continue breathing out as the knees move over to one side. And it allows you to notice a lot more of what's happening in your body, and it allows you to stay true to the breath. And over time, if it feels right, you can even lengthen out the exhale in a way where it looks like the knees are moving so slow, you're trying to not make a ripple on the surface if you were underwater. But of course, if thinking about being underwater makes you more anxious, leave that visualization out. And if you haven't already, you can close the eyes, letting the body sink into the support underneath you, the presence of the breath, allowing you to stay here in this moment by connecting to the sensations in the body that are arising as we breathe and move together. I'll finish the round you're on and then take one more. And then you can lift the knees back through center. Bring one hand on top of each kneecap. So you're really just holding the knees. We'll breathe in here. And as you exhale, feel the knees draw towards your chest. And instead of cranking the knees towards your chest, the hands are just on a ride on top of the knees. Breathing in as the knees move away from you. And exhaling as the knees move towards you. And we'll take one more round together. And then you can rest the feet in front of your hips. If it feels best for the low back to keep the knees bent, definitely stay here. But if it would feel better to straighten out the legs, you have permission to do whatever your body is telling you to do. We'll move right into our breathing practice by bringing one hand on our low, low belly and one hand on our low ribs. And you can choose to keep the eyes open or close here. It's your practice. And I'd like you to just develop a sense of your exhale lasting longer than your inhale. The breath is coming in. Notice how long the inhale draws into your body for. And as you exhale, it's like slow-mo breath. Let the inhale roll in. As the exhale moves out, you feel as though it's with you for a little bit longer than your inhale was. And 
There might even be a point of pause at the end of your exhale before your next inhale rolls in again. You can stay there for however long feels comfortable for you. Knowing that you have nowhere to be and nothing more important to do than this, taking care of your own self. And you'll take four more breaths. Beginning to have the sense that you're seated or lying down next to a strong and stable tree. So just bringing to mind what would it feel like to be in the presence of a strong and stable tree. And as you draw the breath in, you draw nourishment from the tree's roots into your body. As you exhale, allow that nourishment from the root system to settle into your own system. Drawing the stability of the roots in as you breathe in. Having that feeling stay with you and settle within you as you breathe out. Noticing how the body feels here. Paying attention to the tempo of your breath now compared to when you started class. And acknowledging the quality of your mind. What has changed? We'll start to wiggle the toes and wiggle the fingers. Maybe turn the head from side to side. We'll bring ourselves back up towards a seat. Instead of yanking yourself up, we'll draw the knees towards the chest, roll over to the side. And you can use the arm that you roll over towards to rest your ear on and just take a moment or two to pause here again with a support underneath you, it's one thing to have support. It's another thing to accept and sink into that support. And then letting the head stay relaxed as you use that hand on the floor to press yourself back up. And you could always stay here for a little bit. It's not always smart to go from a place of feeling calm to back into the wildness that is the world. So if you need some time to integrate back into 
your life, take that time for yourself and know that if you have any questions about anxiety or just want someone to hear you out, you can always reach out to me on my Instagram. My name is Savan Asana and I'm a yoga therapist in training. I'm so close to graduating. So if you have any questions about yoga therapy, please come and talk. I hope you feel so much better now. Anxiety is a thing I can't say. <laughs> Namaste.